This is Beijing-born fashion guru Chao Liang. But nobody actually calls him that. By the way, what should I call you? Bags, Mr. Bags? Actually, in Chinese, people call me Bao Bao. You want me to call you Bao Bao? Yeah, you can call me Bao Bao. Bao Bao, or Mr. Bags, went to college in the U.S. to study finance. But he ditched that path to run a blog about how to buy luxury handbags. Four years and four million followers later, he's got his own team of employees. And he's quite possibly the most authoritative voice in luxury handbags in China. And odds are, he's younger than you. He just turned 26. When did you get started with bags? My parents, like, they do finance. So they're within the finan financial industry. Mm -hmm. So they really expect me to work in the same field. And I just love fashion and I just shop a lot. Like in Los Angeles, I went to Rodeo Drive like maybe four or five days out of a week. Really? Yes. What do you think it is about you that all your followers like? There's a lot of people out there writing about bags, a lot of people writing about fashion. What is it about Dao Song that does it for them? We are all consumers, like all of our team. We have this perspective of a luxury consumer. Mm. So we know what they want, we know what they need. I can tell like, if this bag is going to be popular in China. This is sort of like my special power now. Within a few years, it wasn't just consumers who wanted his advice on bags. Brands started calling him up too. Last year, Givenchy and Longchamp released limited edition bags with Mr. Bag's branding, and they sold out immediately. And now he's about to do his biggest collaboration ever with another luxury brand, Todd's. I have to show this to you. Is this? That's cute. I gotta say, that's a cute bag. These $1,500 bags are being sold exclusively on a social networking app called WeChat. And he's hoping to sell out all 300 of them within an hour. Inside is the Mr. Vax Heart Todd's. There it is. One minute. Ooh, one minute. We have to start now. All right, let's go. Oh, for the first minute, we got five, 56 people already paid the money and bought really? the bag. Yes. 70. 70 now. Oh, 100. 100. 100. It four, is 10 04. Four minutes. Four minutes. Yes. Four minutes you sold already. 100. Because each of them is 10,000 RMB. Uh -huh. So right now it's a million RMB. Oh my God, it's sold out. Everything is sold Everything's out. Everything's sold out. It's 10, it's been seven minutes. In seven minutes, he made over 3 million RMB. That's about $500,000. I see you on a lot of lists as a key opinion leader, mm -hmm. KOL. Yes. What do you think about that term? I think in this new generation, it's not like you have to act or you have to sin to mm -hmm. become someone influential. If there's something you're good at and you want to share it with people, mm -hmm. then you can become influential. A lot of Mr. Bag's success is due to a couple recent developments in the Chinese market. First is China's growing middle class, which has a huge appetite for luxury. In fact, one third of luxury goods sold across the globe go to Chinese consumers. Second, most of those Chinese consumers are completely addicted to WeChat, which lets you talk to your friends, post status updates, pay your rent, and now shop without even switching applications. Mr. Bags isn't only on the internet. He's also starting to do public appearances, where fans can get selfies with him, hang out with cute dogs, eat custom Mr. Bags cake, and maybe even buy an extra bag. Mr. Bag started out by giving consumers advice about the best bags in the Chinese luxury market. But now, he's actually influencing that market. We work with a lot of different brands. Even when brands are working with us in a commercial way, mm -hmm. we would, if they want to push one style that we feel like not good for Chinese consumers, we would definitely stop that. Sometimes we tell them, stop pushing this bag in China. This is not going to be it. This is a more European style. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should try this mini style. Maybe it will work. Mm -hmm. Or like, why don't you have this pink color in China? Like Chinese people love it so much. You're kind of this first wave. Mm -hmm. And so there's no blueprint for mm -hmm. what's too far for a fashion blogger. What, what, is, what could make it look like you're selling out? Do you ever think about that? 
I have a long-term dream is that one day I want to build up a Chinese luxury brand. Before, when people think of made in China, they think of something that's poor quality, or not necessarily poor quality, but not something super good quality. I really want to reverse that image. I want to tell them like made in China tags can be something really, really good. <laughs>